darkness they came. Their destination, the Games Academy somewhere out at sea. Their mission, to become games playing legends and to crack the challenge of Games Master. anything about video games will know that the shops are chock full of movie licenses well tonight we feature a game that brings two movie legends together under one great title but you'll have to stay tuned to see that in the meantime let's go over to the games master for the first challenge games master well the first game to tax our hopeful players tonight is super pang on the snis this game involves nothing more complex than popping balloons when there are none left on the screen your task is complete Watch out, though, as every time you pop a balloon, you are left with two smaller ones until they are too small to divide anymore and simply disappear. The contestant who survives the longest shall be the winner. Sharpen your pins. Thank you, Games Master. OK, tonight we've got two players competing for the single place in our final. Please give a big hand for mother and son duo, no less, Paul and Sonia Pierce. <laughs> You're going to be playing your mummy for this challenge. Yeah. You're going to give her any chances at all, do you think? A little bit. You're going to give her a little bit of a squeeze. All right, then. What about you, mum? You played Super Pang before? Just a little bit. You've played it a little bit, so you've got some idea of what's yeah. going on. OK, then. Right, we'll start your challenge off straight away. What do you say we let your mum go first? Yeah, all right. Yeah, we'll let your mum go first? Yeah. Yes, yeah, we OK, well, right, you're going to watch the monitor there, see how well your mum does. You go up over there, and mumsy, you go to your seat. Go on, go there, Paul. Good man. OK. Joining me in the commentary box tonight is our old friend Steve Carsey. Hi, Dexter. How are you doing all right? Not too bad. Now, Super Bang, it's a lot of balls, really, isn't it? <laughs> Not unlike yourself, Dexter. That's very kind of you, Steve. <laughs> Go on, what's some things to look out for in this challenge? Well, then? the best advice I can give Sonia is to be very choosy with which weapons she collects. Right. Uh, by far, the most useful one is the machine gun. Right, the machine gun. Yep. OK, so Sonia has to look out for the machine gun. She has to complete the level in the fastest time possible, or, should she die, we're going to take the time that she's got remaining on the screen. Yeah? Yep. OK, then. Sonia, are you ready, you lovely little thing? I am. Absolutely. Right then, start your challenge, Sonia. Let's go. OK, as you can see, there are 80 seconds on the clock, counting down. Right, that's the idea. Now, if anything hits our character here, now this is a twin fire hit. She collects she that. that, really. Yeah, she'll be able to fire twice on the screen. OK, she's got okay. a bit of tactics here, really. That's right. Now, if she gets hit by anything, yeah. she'll be killed, and we'll stop the clock at that point. That's very important. OK, and then that's the time that her son left the Yes, that's right. Right, OK, we've got that. Now, so, you see, the little symbols out here will only stay on the screen for a short while. So when that machine gun appears, she's got to collect it straight away. Right, and there's a machine gun somewhere around the will screen, be. Is that's there? right. Now, if okay. she gets that egg timer, that will slow the clock down, which is obviously to her right. advantage. Ah, uh, too late. Quitting the big one now. 47 on the clock. 47 seconds left on the clock, so that's the time Paul's got to beat. Let's get Paul into the hot seat. Change over, please. OK, here comes Paul, winging his way to the seat right now. Come on, Paul. OK. So, it's the same challenge as the challenge. Time. Paul looks like he's ready. Paul, are you ready? Yes, yeah, OK, you nutter, get ready. Here we go. Okay. Start your challenge. As we've got 80 seconds on the clock, counting down. He's only got to be... There we go, now. Seconds. That's his twin fire. He wants to pick that up. That wants gives him two missiles. Oh, that's going to be handy. That slows down the clock, which actually right. isn't that's that useful. That's, that's quite good, though, isn't it? He wants to here we go. Time. He's still... Here we go, twin well, fire. For that he's fire twice. Now, that freezes all the balloons. Now, this is his chance oh. now to find the machine out. Yes, 
You didn't do very well, did you, unfortunately? No, no I didn't. Yeah, he didn't show you much mercy once he got on there as well. <laughs> oh, well, I'm, I'm sure you'll get over it, won't you? I will. You will. Yeah. So, and you're the champion, eh? Yep. That means that you get a place in the final challenge tonight, later on, okay, when you will have a chance to win the fabulous Games Master Golden Joystick. Okay, so, be prepared to come back for that for us, won't you? Okay, then, let's have another big hand for both our contestants. But now it's time to see what's going up and what's going down in the reviews. It certainly looks like life is cheap in cannon fodder. Guide your small band of hardened heroes to take out enemy troops, steal their vehicles and do as much damage as you can. Lose some troops and there's plenty more to replace them. Cannon fodder is a very original blood and guts war game. You can train an elite band of troops as you guide them through jungles looking for the enemy and when you find them you just shoot them to pieces. The animation is absolutely brilliant. The graphics are quite small, but they're very detailed. When you cut somebody in half a machine gun, the blood spurts all over the place, the little body writhes really attractively in the mud. There's a bit of strategy involved, but not enough to bog you down. It's fairly straightforward shoot em up action, and it is really fantastic. You've played Top Gear, now here comes Top Gear 2. Fast two-player racing action set over day and night tracks in all weather conditions and with more competition than you can handle. But does the sequel match the original? For me, Top Gear 2 is just a run-of-the-mill racing game. The behind-the-car view, the screaming around the corners, the introduction of nitros... Uh, it's, I've seen it all before. It's a great game, but a variety of tracks is enormous. You can race during the night, during the rainstorms, there's even ice on the tracks. It looks fabulous, super smooth scrolling. Hot two-player action. You couldn't ask for more in a racing game. Join in a battle of strength and wits on the planet Arrakis in June 2. Pick your allies carefully and construct your headquarters. Beat off the enemy attacks and mine more spice than your rivals to gain control of the planet. June 2's got more spice in it than a local curry house. It's got nice graphics, Nice sound, lots of violence, lots of guns, lots of big guns. Anything that seems to be missing is good old Sting, perhaps he's saving a rainforest or something. Lasting appeal is guaranteed as this game is massive and it's incredibly playable and I normally hate this sort of game. It's good for arcade fans, it's good for strategy fans, it's a great, great game. Reporting. Acknowledged. Reporting. Acknowledged. <laughs> your handsets and get ready for the ultimate computer carnival games master live and this year the festival of fingertip fireplay will be brought to you from the future entertainment show at olympia from the 11th to the 14th of november we'll be holding four live shows a day at the games master stage where you the audience can join in the challenges and have a chance to win one of our fabulous prizes you can meet me and the games master and on thursday there'll be a special celebrity challenge which will be transmitted live on that evening show and if that's not enough for you, you'll be able to shoot it out with the robots in the laser force spaceship, completely lose your head in the virtual reality, or leap into the world of 3D graphics. The show will be simply bursting with all your fave arcade adventures, plus, of course, all the freshest games. this and more at the Games Master Live Future Entertainment Show Grand Hall Olympia from the 11th to the 14th of November. Tickets are available by calling this number 051 356 5085 now. Big games and big features there for you in the reviews. Now, our celebrity guest is waiting, so we better get over to the Games Master to find out what the challenge is. I'm just in the mood for some sport, so our next game is Striker. The SNES is the console. Football is the game. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm, I'm getting a little carried away. 
It's all about getting the ball in the back of the net. And I want a good, clean, a positive game. The reputation of the academy is at stake. That's my team talk over, so get out there and give it all you've got. OK, so playing striker, one of the stars of East Enders, Sean Maguire, and his opponent, Steve Cox from Battersea. Let's go, man! <laughs> of EastEnders, they like to play the odd game, don't Oh, they? yeah, they love it. They're, they're real fans. They are? Yeah, they always... And you're a bit of a champ? Well, you know, dabble a bit now and then. <laughs> you're quite modest about yeah, it. Yeah. Steve, are you a big EastEnders fan? No way. No. No? no. You're not? No. Bit of a grudge match then tonight? Yeah. Right, OK, Steve. You've been practising, haven't you? Yeah, we've had a few. Who's years. been winning? Oh, Steve. Steve's been winning. Steve's been winning. But All right, then we'll just be planned to win at the end, aren't we? Well, you're going to get in there and steam him. Good stuff. Yeah, uh, you chose your teams? Yes, I'm Republic of Ireland and. Um... I'm playing England. All right, then. So, we'll just take up your position, start Thank the challenge. You. Right, in the commentary box with me today, I've got Tim Boone of NMS Magazine. Hi, Dex. All right, Tim. Not bad. So, Striker, it's a game of two hours, really, isn't it? Yeah, and it's a game and a half as well. This is soccer to the max. Absolutely brilliant. We're brilliant. playing England versus Ireland. Good Great stuff. thing about this game is very fast. Loads yeah. of moves. You can actually banana kick the ball, go for goal, whatever you want. Okay. Now, England are playing from the top down, and they're in white, and Ireland are playing in green from the bottom up. Clever money is on England. Get your money on now. Right, okay, so we've got Sean's playing in green, and Steve's going to be in white. Let's find out if they're ready. Are you ready, chaps? Yeah, yeah. indeed. Absolutely. Right, kick off. And straight away, England are going over. Celebrity Challenge. We've got Sean Maguire and Steve Cox playing striker. The score's still nil-nil. We've got Sean playing in the green and we've got Steve in white. OK, let's find out if they're ready for their second half. Are you ready, chaps? We are ready. OK, let's have an exciting second half. Start your challenge. Off you go. Second half. OK, where we, we go. go. Sean's kicking off here. And but straight okay. away, Steve's got possession going up the screen decks. Right, OK. They're, 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 they're playing the other way round now. Yeah, Good absolutely. Oh, that was not bad. Now, the goalie's got the ball. Away OK, Sean's playing downfield yep. now. Sean's playing down the field. Nice, nice play. Nice Good control there. there. Absolutely, and once again England pick it up though. Steve's doing very well. Good oh, that was goal. close, but he, once again he didn't have a man Sean there, Dexter. Right, you've got the guy. number on the top of the man, lets you know which man you're controlling. Absolutely, but the key thing about this game, I always have a guy to follow through. Let's see what Sean can do here. Oh, not, that was not close not again, that's twice he's done that off the post. Unlucky. And away, Steve's got oh, the ball again. Steve's Good passing still. Steve Good is pass. the professional here, it must be sick. Can he do it? Oh, it's in! Oh. Yes! Oh dear! Whoa, Steve has scored. Oh, one nil to England. One nil to England. Let's have the replay. Oh, yeah. Straight past the 
keeper. Goal, he started going the wrong way. And Good just start. straight underneath. Great play. OK, let's have the kick-off. There we go again. What can, can Ireland pull Ireland, back? Half a minute left. Ireland do half a minute to pull it back. OK, where we go. And oh, that was close. Too wide. John's desperately trying to pull something back here. But Steve is just too good. England Steve is again. definitely doing very well here. Oh, very oh, close. Another good shot. Could have put some, could have put some curve on that Come shot. Come on, Ireland. Manage it. Good stuff. Come He's on, Ireland. He's down the middle of the wing. Passes it on. Lovely. Oh, great tackle from Steve. It this boy is a pro. This Away he goes. Too good for the man. Goal. Oh, he should have run a man there Good the defensive game. work there. Great, but where is attackers? He's got where nine is seconds left to do it. Where the hell is Gaza? That's what I want to know. Where is Gaza? Oh, go on. Cuts it wide. Great. It's the last kick of the game. How will we do Three seconds. It can still be done. You can score in a second in this game. But England, and they're having a goal kick. Can we get the injury time? We need to find out. We're out of time. Full time. It's a good job you don't like EastEnders, really, because you just hammered him. Well, it wasn't so much of a hammering. Right, he beat me fair and square. He did beat you fair and square. Take it like a man. <laughs> good man. So, are you pleased with your results, Steve? Yep. Yeah. Well, I just kept on hammering his shots, different angles. One got past the keeper. <laughs> One certainly did get past the keeper. Well, player. you've won the famous Games Master Golden Joystick! <laughs> or your dribbling lets you down, it's time to shout for help from the Games Master in the consultation zone. Hello. Now, come forward and let me revive your games playing careers. Who's our first case for treatment? Hello, Games Master. Can I cheat on Superpunk for the SNES? Yes, in fact, you can. On the selection screen, press L, R, R, L, up, then down. A number will appear. This is your current level. You can then select any level to play on. You might be able to beat your son now, after that rather dismal performance earlier on. Oh, thanks very much. Next question, please. Games Master, Franking 2 on the Game Boy is so big, how do I handle it? The secret to completing this game is the transporter. After collecting it from the house in the village, retrace your steps back to the chateau. Place the transporter next to the recharge machine. Now, whenever you're low on energy, you will not only transport yourself out of difficulty, but back to the machine capable of restoring your energy. Thanks very much. Bye-bye. Who's our last visitor? On Day of the Tentacle on the PC, where can I find the human to enter the beauty contest? Ah, a tricky one. The only human you could possibly use is Ted. OK, he's dead, but the judges don't mind. Ted can be found in the 70s room on the first floor. Put the roller skates on his decomposing feet, then give him a push. Register him before the contestants are taken to the judging area. Go to the room with the fireplace, and the registration badge can be obtained from the tentacle. So now you can enter the contest. Problem solved. Far out, man. Right, you had your fun. I'm off for a cup of tea. Marisha! Well, the aimless put family back on the track there in the consultation zone. Now, let's bring back the winner of our first challenge. Please give a very big hand and a very warm welcome for the one and only Paul Pierce. <laughs> For our final challenge. Are you feeling confident? So. Sort of. Yes, you're quite a cool customer, aren't you? Yep. Absolutely. Well, you're going to need to have your wits about you, I'm telling you. Because tonight's final challenge is a bit of a special for you. It's an exclusive game for Games Master. It features not only one, but two all action screen heroes in one mega game. You've got to see it to believe it. So, let's go over to the Games Master straight away and find out what it is. It's a goodie. Games Master! Yes, even I'm a little excited about the final challenge tonight. The game is Robocop versus Terminator on the Mega Drive. A violent and bloody battle between two movie legends. Our brave challenger must steer Robocop through a level crawling with the evil minions of the Terminator in one minute or less. Let's see some good old-fashioned carnage. 
All for the sake of law and order, of course. Well, there you have it. Robocop v Terminator. Do you think you're going to handle it all right? Yeah, I'm a great fan of Robocop. I'm, I'm yeah. ready for the challenge. All right, good man. So, good luck. Everyone's counting on you. If you take your seat, we can start the challenge. It's going to be a good eat. Robocop v Terminator. With me in the commentary box, I've got that old friendly face, Steve Carthy. Thanks, Dixter. How you doing? Right, Robocop v Terminator. Pretty awesome game. It is indeed, yes. So, any tips for him to look out for well, on this? Well, I mean, during the course of the level, there's various arrows which actually guide him towards the end of level Guardian, right. which he's got to destroy to complete the challenge. Right. But I think Paul's got his work cut out for him, to be honest, because completing the level's easy enough. Yeah. But doing it in under, in under a minute is very, very yeah, hard. Yeah, it's going to be pretty tricky. I'm I think, really looking it? forward to this. It's going to be hard. Okay, then. So, let's see how well Paul Pierce is going to do. He's got one minute to complete the first level. I'll get my stopwatch out. Here we go. So are you ready, Paul Pierce? Yep. Then start your challenge. Okay, where we go. He's <laughs> off. So on the left-hand corner, the top left-hand corner, you have an energy bar. Right. Every time he gets hit, he'll yeah. lose some energy. It's going down pretty rapidly. It's in, and as soon as he gets to zero, he'll lose a life. Okay, well, it doesn't matter how many lives he loses, he's just got to get through. The time is the important thing here, Dexter. Yep, definitely. Now, that, follow that arrow. He's follow the arrows. They will show, they will guide him to the end of the level where the boss is. Right. And he's got to kill that boss to survive this level well, and that. to do the challenge. Oh, he's lost the life there. First life down. It's going to take up a bit of now time. he's splashing there. You can see yeah. when he's splashing, he's actually invincible for a few short seconds. He's got 30 seconds left, so he better get a move on. He's doing well. He's not doing too badly. He's flying through this level now. He's doing the important thing here. He's actually not worrying too much about taking damage. He's just going yeah. for it. I time is very right important. Here. It's a pretty gruesome game, isn't very it? Very gruesome. It should be an 18 certificate. Yeah, I think you're right. Blood and guts everywhere. Look at that. Is oh, he's down again. He's down again. Another is, life. Is there no. other weapons he can get? No, there are other weapons, and he needs to get the big missile. Here he is. He's got uh, one. He's got guided missiles. Right, he's missed the food. Right, he, he needs this. He needs He's got five seconds left. He's, he's done it. Three, two, and he's done it. It's it's gonna believe that. Couldn't have that. been any closer. Couldn't have been any better. That was a fantastic result for Paul there. So Paul Pierce has completed level one in 59 seconds. Only one second to spare. Pretty amazing stuff. Very good. Let's give him a big round of applause. second left to spare. Look at that. There it was on the Game Master official stopwatch. So, good stuff. Was there any moments there when you thought you weren't going to make it? Well, when I got to the war, I thought I wouldn't make it because yeah. if I grabbed onto that, I'd have completed it in a lot less time. Yeah, but you still managed to do it, and so you realise that means that you get the famous Games Master Golden Joystick! golden joystick tucked snugly under his arm. I'll leave you with the words of my good friend Arnie Schwarzenegger. It's not the size of your gun, it's what you do with it. <laughs>